So we are seeing this game between James Thompson versus George Henry McKenzie. It was played in New York 1868. So let's start. White starts with e4, black plays, e5, f4, king's gambit opening, e cross f4, knight f3, g5, d4, g4 attacking the knight, knight e5, queen h4 check, king d2, see I have not played any g3 or anything, just move the king on d2, queen f2 check. So king c3. So white is thinking once the king will run away here, it will be safe over here. Now black has got some more pieces on this side. Knight c6, idea bishop b4 check. Okay, or uh, is attacking on d4 as well. So a3, actually he could capture knight cross c6, it was better. But uh, he played a3. So d6, okay, another uh, move. Getting uh, the bishop out, that's the main idea of this. And another move, like another idea is to attack, of course, the knight. Knight cross d6, he captured, b cross d6, bishop d3, and then rook b8, okay? Not allowing this king to run away from this side like this. He's not allowing it. Rook f1 attacking the queen, and here we have the puzzle. Black to play mating five, yes. So queen cross d4 check, king has to either capture or he has to move back over, okay. So we'll see first what happened in the game, okay. In the game, he captured. So bishop g7 check and then e5, bishop cross e5 and king e4 and here knight f6 is a checkmate. So this is how he finished the game. But we need to see what happens if he capture. I mean, if he moves the king inside. So let's see king d2. Then you have this check. Okay, you have to find all the check. This is the check. King has to go back where it was before. So king c3. And then you have this check. Bishop g7. e5. Bishop cross e5. King c4 is the only move. And then you have lots of checks here. Okay. Like uh, bishop a6. Then bishop e6, d5, queen d4, or queen c5. Yeah, all these are checked. 